I don't know if this is gonna work. Drained and rinsed lemon green. Uh, rule breaker, here I am. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> oh, sh Welcome back to my channel. My name's Carly, and if you're new here, I make gluten free and vegan food. I've decided to make a scalped potato roll. The recipe was from a non vegan potato. Page. Okay, and it involves melting vegan cheese on a pan. We don't know if this will work. Okay, so I'm gonna make a smallish version of this in case it fails. Okay, yeah. Green lentils instead of meat are potatoes that we're gonna mandolin. Onion, garlic, pepper. We need some seasonings. Cheese shreds. Pretty much that's it. We're gonna start this recipe off by boiling our water and then adding in some lentils, green or brown lentils. Our water is boiling, so let's go ahead and put our lentils. I have half a cup of drained and rinsed lent green? green lentils, I think. And I just salted the water. I'm going to let them boil for about 10 minutes and then check on them and see where they're at. Let's prepare our other ingredients. We're gonna dice up our onion nice and small. Next up, let's do our red pepper. You can use whatever color pepper you want. Our pan is hot now. We've got our olive oil in there. Let's add our onions. It has been a couple minutes, so we're going to add in our red peppers. Prep our garlic. One, two, three, four, five, six cloves. You can just kind of do as much as you want. This is kind of a little free for all recipe, you know? It has been about 15 to 20 minutes since we've been cooking our lentils and they're looking split open and soft. So I'm going to take them and strain them now. Let's add in our lentils now to our pan. Let's add in our garlic. It's been a couple minutes, so let's add in all of our seasonings. Salt and pepper just to taste. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon garlic powder. Half a teaspoon paprika. One teaspoon oregano. A few shakes of cayenne. I'm gonna give it a quick mix before adding the last ingredients. And I'm gonna do like a heaping teaspoon of tomato paste and two tablespoons of marinara sauce. I think that's interesting. We'll see how this ends up tasting. Because I'm using lentils, they're not as sticky. I might just add more marinara to make sure that it is going to stick together one more tablespoon of our marinara. I'm just using this Classico tomato and basil. It's looking pretty good so far. It's ready for our potatoes. Let's prep our potatoes. So you're gonna need a mandolin or you can thinly slice them. In the instructions, she said an eighth of an inch thick, but I'm gonna go with this one over 32 because I just thought an eighth of an inch is like way too thick. Uh, rule breaker, here I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna go lengthwise with our potato. Let's see. Let's do a couple and see. Like though, I think those are good. Not too, too thick. Cause she said if they're too thin, they will break. And if they're too thick, oh, ow. <gasps> oh, be very careful while using this. Use this thing. Cause I literally, I will blur it out. I literally cut my thumb wide open just now. So be careful. Uh, I have my solution. Hee. Not gonna lie, I was bleeding a lot guys. So uh, be careful, but I have some food safe gloves. So we just cut the thumb off. Perfection. Look at all our little mandolin potatoes. Yeah. We're gonna set those aside. Bring in our baking tray that we have parchment on. Our Daya matzah shreds. This is what we're going to be attempting this with today. We're going to do a nice layer. I'm scared, y'all. Is it just gonna burn? Or because the potatoes are on top, is it going to work and cook? I'm scared, maybe I should put a little oil or something or drizzle a little oil just in case these are not oily enough. Let's just try it like this. Okay, now let's layer the potatoes. Overlap 
them a little bit because you know we're going to be rolling them. Guessing it's a good idea to overlap these like this as well. And we've preheated our oven to 400 degrees. Oh my gosh. We're going to drizzle with some olive oil. I'm going to just drizzle a little bit and then use this spoon to kind of make sure they're all covered with some oil. We're going to sprinkle some salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder. Okay, let's throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Oh my god, you guys. Seriously? It worked? Oh, look at that. Oh my god, you guys. This looks amazing and it doesn't look burnt. Like maybe like really crispy around the edges. But anyways, I think we're supposed to let them cool. I mean, cool to be able to touch, touch it. We can put the toppings. More cheese, y'all. I'm just gonna do a little because I honestly don't want this to be like super unhealthy. It's already like coated in cheese. Not meat, meat mix. I'm thinking if you just seasoned this with like, like made like a taco meat, I think that would be really, really delicious. You know what? I guess even if you overfill it, it said just to be careful not to like mess up the potatoes so they don't fall apart. But I think even if you were to overfill it, like it would be okay. Cause it would just end up all falling out and like, that's fine. Oh, I know why you put extra cheese in here. So it sticks together. Okay, that looks good to me. Now I understand more cheese. Okay. I understand we want it to stick together. Okay, time for the scariest part ever. Okay, we're gonna roll it from the short side. Is that the short side or is this? No, that's the long side. This mine, it's kind of just a perfect square that I made mine, but ideally you'd have the whole pan. So we're going to just, or did I layer the potatoes wrong? The wrong way then. Cause I layered them thinking I was gonna roll it this way. So you know what? Let's roll it this way. Cause I think that they'll not fall apart. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on y'all. Okay, maybe they will fall apart that way. I think I was just gonna, let's just figure it out as we go. Maybe it is this way. Maybe it is. <sighs> OMG y'all, okay, it's also hot. It is hot. <laughs> Need a spatula or something. We just gotta get it past this first roll, I think. We are falling apart. Maybe I should wait because maybe the cheese is going to separate. Roll, roll you. Oh, and G. Okay, we're falling, we're falling apart. We just need to get it to the seam. We just need to get it to the seam, y'all. Seam side down. Seam side down. Okay, we're falling apart. Just a little, just a little. You know, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, it actually looks really good. It's just falling apart a little, but we're gonna put extra cheese, surprise, on the top here. So I'm probably going to try to mostly put it here where the potatoes have separated and fallen apart and hope it doesn't just completely turn into a disaster. We're just gonna try and hide that. Pretend away. We're gonna throw this back in the oven for seven to 10 minutes. Okay, it doesn't really look that much different. Ta-da! We're gonna let it cool for five minutes and then we're gonna slice it. Let's get to slicing. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to move it. 
Let's just like, okay. We're just gonna try and go quick with it. I feel like the ends are gonna be decent. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just scared the middle pieces are gonna be like just falling apart everywhere. Oh, it's hot as hell still. OMG, y'all, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so I think what happened is I didn't put enough cheese on the bottom. Um, therefore, this section of potatoes just fell apart. Oh, that's hot. Y'all. Okay, that's better. Oh my God, look how beautiful. Let's go ahead and give this a taste test. I'm so excited. I took the end piece, of course, because it's not gonna fall apart and I need a hand to hold the phone. Hmm. Okay, okay. Mmm. This is actually really good. It'd be really good with mock meat as well. Maybe better, I don't know. Because of all the cheese, I try to be a little healthy. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. This is like ridiculously good. What? The potatoes aren't like crispy crunchy. It's just like a soft potato, like a scalp potato. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like this. But the seasoning is like a little heat to it. So good. Oh, mm. the insides is soft. Of course, it's lentils. It's not meaty, but if you want the meaty, like I said. Oh my God, this is so good. The seasonings are really good on the inside, y'all. And the end piece, the little crispy crunchies on the side. Oh my God. I can't believe the vegan che cheese worked. I am shooketh. I'm shocked. I can't believe this worked. That will be it for this experimental video today i'm so happy it worked out i can't believe it stayed together maybe i should have tried rolling it the other way let me know in the comments down below if i rolled it the wrong way or what the heck because <laughs> it fell apart maybe i need or if i needed more cheese or more out overlapping bigger potato pieces whatever let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye